Hey guys, so it's six o'clock in the morning right now. I'm in Atlanta, Georgia at the growth conference. Absolutely nobody's here. But hey, the early bird gets the worm, right? All right, let's go. We decided what we were going to do was pick apart Richard Branson's brain and figure out what made Branson Branson. So we called in psychiatrists, psychologists, doctors, endocrinologists, all of these people to tell us what was going on in Branson's brain. And at the end of the experiment, we did diagrams, we had all these schematics, and at, at the end of the experiment, what we learned is that it's not what goes on in Branson's brain that makes Branson Branson. Do you know what it is? Let's do it. Let's do it. It's his guts. <laughs> it's his guts. Like we missed it. It was here, and we were studying here. And I would wager that all of you here this morning have guts. So thank you so much for showing up. Um, than anybody else. And he got in the car with his wife, an old 15 year old Pat Lack, started going across the country, knocked on the door, said, You know, anybody like to come in and cook you some chicken? Most of the restaurants were, you know, struggling kind of restaurants, so they wouldn't want to take on a new product out of the box. But over a period of a few years, they built 600 restaurants. And uh, that's when I got interested. Fortunately, uh, found a partner, Jack Massey, and uh, we bought him out. And he was a character. He was a uh, witness in a lawsuit one time, and the opposing counsel said, Colonel, would you tell the jury what war you fought in? And he said, well, I didn't fight in any war. He said, well, uh, would you explain uh, what the meaning of that kernel that you used before your name? And he said, well, it means about the same thing as that album before your name doesn't mean a bad thing. <laughs> Hey guys, this is Coach Cash. Just got out of pitching my business to Entrepreneur Magazine. How nerve-wracking. Either way, look at this long line of people that are all here just to share what it is that they're doing with their lives every single day to make a difference. Hopefully they get in. Hopefully I get in. I'm I'm the CEO of Foreign Translations. Foreign Translations. And what brings you here to Atlanta to the Entrepreneur Conference? Uh, I love to hang out with other entrepreneurs. Mm -hmm. uh, I've been reading the magazine for 15 years. Wow. First event I was ever at. Wow, okay, and what is foreign translations? We translate documents in all languages of the world for corporations all over the world. Wow. We have thousands of translators sitting in 30 countries. Woo! We never physically see our customers, we never meet our translators, we do everything over the world. What, br what got you into that industry? Um, I do not speak another language, I'm a finance business person. Mm -hmm. My wife's an Italian translator. Nice. We formed the company 13 years ago, and now uh, we have about 400 clients, and we're doing business in all countries. Well. Sweet. Okay, if you had to leave one thing with someone that was watching this video as an inspiration to why you do what you do every day, what would that be? Um, we can do business with anybody anywhere, but the key is that it takes 10 years to be an overnight success. Oh. That's big. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> My name is Vicki Hopkins. All right, Vicki. Okay. Matt Simpson, the beer Simpson. Leadership to pitch my idea to the editors and get as many notes as I can. Mm -hmm. I am here to bring craft beer to the world. Craft beer. Awesome. So, if you had to share one thing about being in business, what would it be? Networking is key. Networking. All right. Great advertising. <laughs> Great advertising and networking. In short, you can be the best in the world at what you do, but if no one knows you exist, then what's the point? Mm, that's strong. Great advertising. Thank you so much. <laughs> Beer and flirting definitely goes together. Thank you. <laughs> Uh, George Nelson. I love to make birthday cards. Birthday cards? Yes. Awesome. Birthdaycardstudio.com. Okay, and what got you into that whole industry? I just love to make birthday cards. I've been making birthday cards for about 15 years. I wow. made a lot of fabric, I stitched them, and I embroidered them. I'm actually uh, 
America's only manufacturer who makes these cars out of fabric. Wow. So they last longer. Um, they are the gift. Oh. Cars are the gift. I'm excited. <laughs> I'm excited too. <laughs> What's your name? My name is John Paul Souza. And what is your business? Uh, social Media Magic and Social Media Universe. We run a comprehensive uh, turnkey managed solution for social media. Along with that, we run a uh, program called Social Media Magic University, which trains people, executives, career professionals, uh, career, uh, and also entrepreneurs on the usage of the utilizing social media the right way. Wow. Social media, make sure it makes sense, make sure it's on point, make sure it's on message, and everything you do is strategic and tactical in nature. Awesome. Thank you so much. Hello. So we have some beautiful people here. Can you please state your name and your business? Uh, my name is Nicole Lepper. This is my dad, Steve Lepper. We have Chocoli Cheese. I'll let him tell you about it. All right. Our website is chocoli.com. We're a supplier of uh, our own line of Belgian quality gourmet chocolate for candy makers and bakers, chocolatiers. I'm hungry. Hobbyists. Anyone who loves any type of application of using chocolate, we have phenomenal products. Nice. And you, madam? I am Latoya Dockery, owner of Heavenly Assistance. That's our, um, we're a, an admin support company focusing on giving our clients peace of mind while they successfully run and grow their business. Very nice. Uh, chocolate is obviously, people light up when you even hear the word, they <laughs> smile. It's something that is a feel-good product. It's something that, that uh, is very easy to, to get people to try and, and get them hooked on something that they know they'll love and want to keep coming back for more. Sweet. And with Heavenly Assistance, um, I was laid off my job about four years ago, so I decided to open up my own company as an admin assistant. I was laid off. Mm -hmm. um, so once I opened up, it was only word of mouth, and we're close to worldwide, or actually international, because I have a client in Africa. Nice. Um, so we're doing really, really good right now, and I'm excited. So I'm here today just to expand my knowledge and what I have and what I know, and to allow everybody else to feed into what I know so I can give them. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, guys. Good luck on your pitch. Thank you. Alright family, so it has been a very long day. This is actually the day after because I was just way too tired after yesterday's conference. Entrepreneur.com, I learned so much about social media and networking. I give a special thanks to UPS for actually funding the entire event. They even gave us uh, books from charity. You know, if you gave $5, you were able to get tax planning for business and asset protection. Oh my goodness. They even gave us a booklet on how to start up your own business. Entrepreneur definitely reaches out to the community and gives back to people who just really want to start a business. I did learn that in times like this, the greatest ideas start so whatever ideas you have take the chance now to sit down maybe with a small business association in your area and see if those ideas really could come to fruition I'm telling you the time is now what you have inside the world needs to see so hopefully this was an inspiration to you as it was to me just sharing a little bit of what goes through my life I love you all in the meantime in between time have a good time coachcastinspiremany.com